upon request for some for the non-English YouTube members um, I'll make another LED lamp video with details and I'll provide some subtitles on it as well here we have the overall schematic for the LED lamp 240 volts Resistors are 1, are 2, are 3, are 4, are 5, are in series. They go to the bridge rectifier, which is made from 4 1 in 4007 diodes, like this. And that's the schematic with the, how the diode is, with the ribbon on the right hand side. The resistors are 2200 ohms, 1 watts. That is 3 red bands and 1 golden band at the end. Assembly in the fitting. Discarded CFL fitting. The diode stack. This is one leg of the 240 volt side, three resistors in series, and the other leg from the terminal goes on the other terminal, so we end up with that and that terminal, which gives us our voltage to drive our LEDs via the bridge rectifier. These are correct. Here are the halfway tests, um, the two jumpers, yellow and green, they're going to the top part for the last part of the LEDs. So this is just a test from 110 volt supply, it's already pretty bright, 110 volts 50 hertz. Test before soldering in, two jumpers have been soldered to the single, or to the center point, center plate. And I'm gonna put them together with the glue gun. After testing and knowing that the lamp works satisfactory, we can put it all together with the glue gun. Just a simple glue gun like this. Perfect. This LED lamp is uh, blue on the side with green in the middle, just as a decorative lamp for in the lounge. Okay, we're testing at 240 volts. 240 volts gives about 14 milliampere. I got it on a variac, so I can drop it down to 170 volts, that gives us about 8 milliampere. On 10 volts, gives about 4 milliampere. One ten, I'll wrap it back up to 240. Turn the light off. It's the LED lamp. Always important put the rating on 240 volts, 14 milliampere, and the assembly date 0610. Final results. LED lamp one. Yeah. Mm. Mm. 